future American soldiers will be better protected in combat by stronger and lighter body armor. Innovative work at the U.S. Army Research Laboratory at Aberdeen Proving Ground, Maryland, is using nature as the inspiration for breakthroughs in additive manufacturing and materials science. So my project is to design a system that can 3D print armor ceramics uh, that will allow production of parts with graded structures similar to an abalone structure in nature that will improve ceramic armor's toughness and uh, survivability with lower weights. Peltz spent this summer working with Army scientists and designed and built a unique 3D printer. Is fed down these tubes and into the print head where an auger can both mix inline and extrude. So I can extrude material A, I can extrude material B, or I can extrude any ratio of material. He found a way to implement our ideas into that machine, take apart the machine, take out the polymer FDM heads that are built into it, start to look at how to design the machine to incorporate our ceramic slurries and, and print those slurries into the, into the head. But then he had to do a lot of really basic work looking at how to actually hack the machine. Peltz took advantage of computer programming skills and knowledge of the Internet of Things, or IoT, to hack into a 3D printer and manipulate the device's fan controls as a means to customize the print ratio from one syringe of raw material to another. He even 3D printed the parts for his novel 3D printing head. Mm -hmm. This project is unique because it combines additive manufacturing, um, advanced ceramic forming techniques, and bio-inspired design. Our goal is to be able to make these innovative designs out of these ceramics. Uh, and so for us to get there, we're going to have to figure out some of the challenges required uh, for, for getting to that goal first in terms of materials uh, processing challenges that we're facing. Vargas Gonzalez explained that hard ceramic materials defeat kinetic energy projectiles by shattering them into pieces and decreasing the projectile's penetration ability. I started working on this project to create um, next generation antennas with graded structures uh, and then transitioned into using armor ceramic materials such as boron carbide and silicon carbide um, and trying to produce parts that had uh, a gradient or internal structures impossible to produce with traditional ceramic forming techniques. We've got people like Josh who are very gifted and talented and can bring all that kind of capability in and, and, and use that to our advantage. It's, it's a huge benefit for us. So right now I'm loading the paste. Peltz said he really likes the freedom additive manufacturing provides to test his ideas. I hope to uh, use this system that I've designed um, as well as the processing of uh, creating these armor ceramics and creating armor ceramic composites to uh, develop both um, next generation armor but also apply it to uh, you know, various other fields such as um, a uh, biomedical implant. You could, you know, you could use uh, this same system to produce uh, ceramic implants for say a hip replacement or a knee replacement. This system gives the ability to produce graded parts, so composite ceramic parts for uh, really any application with any material. Thank you.